next problem. 7 plus 6. So 7 is 5 and 2. There is 7. Now we want to add 6. 6 is 5 plus 1. We have one bead down here that we can use, but we don't have another 5 bead that we can use. So now what we have to do is we have to think of adding 5 as adding 10 and taking away 5. So we add 10, take away 5, that's adding 5, and then we add one more for the 6. So 7 plus 6 equals 13. Okay, let's try another one. 6 plus 8. 6 is 5 and 1. There's the 6. We want to add 8. 8 is 5 and 3. We have 3 beads that we can use down here, but we don't have any extra 5 beads. So again, what we have to do is we add the 5 by adding 10 and taking away 5. We've added 5 and then we need 3 more for the 8. So 6 plus 8 equals 14. 7 plus 4. 7 is 5 and 2. We want to add 4. We don't have 4 beads we can use. We don't have a 5 that we can take down and subtract 1 from. So for this one we have to add 10 and take away 6. Adding 10 and taking away 6 is equivalent to adding 4. So we add 10 and take away 6. And our answer is 11. 7 plus 4 equals 11. Our next problem, 8 plus 8. 8 is 5 and 3. Now we need to add another 8. We don't have 3 down here that we can use. We don't have a 5 up here that we can use. So we have to think of adding 8 as adding 10 and taking away 2 because 10 minus 2 is equivalent to 8. So add 10, take away 2, and our answer is 16. Okay, next problem. 2 plus 9. Here is 2. We want to add 9. 9 is 5 and 4. We have a 5 available, but we don't have 4 beads. So we want to think of adding, t adding 9 as adding 10 and taking away 1, because 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. So add 10, take away 1. Answer is 11. 2 plus 9 equals 11. Mm -hmm.